The real estate market is on fire again for March 2021. And do you think there's going to be a real estate crash after COVID-19 is finished? I'll tell you my opinion. Stay tuned. The good news is new listings had increased 15.5%, going up to 840 houses on the market for March. Closed listings or listings that have sold for March was down 8%. The average sale price of a house in the Lehigh Valley is up 12.5%. The price itself is up to almost $268,000. The amount of days on market that a house sits on the market before it's sold is down 44% over this time last year. Crazy! It is less than a month to get a house sold, 24 days on market to be exact. The percentage of list price to the sold price is up 1.9%. Houses are selling for 100.5% of the asking price. Amazing. And the month's supply of houses dropped again in March over last year by 55%. We have 0.8 of a month worth of inventory on the market. So less than 30 days we of inventory before all of it's sold again. And now, do I think that there's going to be a housing crisis when COVID-19 is over? No, I don't. At least not right now. Doesn't look to be. It sounds like as of June 30th, 2021, anyone who is in forbearance or has delayed their payments or their mortgage or has been uh, unable to pay rent is got till June 30th to figure out a plan with the bank as to how they're going to um, get the bank paid up. Um, I know that I also heard another expert tell say that um, banks are being encouraged to add the payments that are due to the back end of the loan and uh, so a mortgage could go from 30 years up to 40 years. I had a conversation this morning, and this morning is um, the 19th of April, I had an, uh, a conversation this morning with a trusted mortgage lender that I use on a regular basis. He was on a conference call with other national lenders and banks throughout the nation um, uh, who were being spoken to by the uh, feds from federal um, representatives from Franny, um, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, um, and mortgage lending. And they had it said to the banks, listen, we want you to keep people in their houses. So do whatever you need to do to refinance, add on monthly payments, do whatever you need to do to keep people in their homes. So if you are a, um, a, a homeowner who is behind in your payments due to COVID, uh, talk to your lender and tr start the process of getting yourself refinanced or do whatever you need to do to um, to stay in your home. The numbers look like there's more and more inventory coming on the market in the spring, but come June 30th, I don't think there's going to be a huge glut of foreclosures or anything else. I think that inventory, as people start to get um, vaccinated for COVID and people start to feel a little bit better, there's going to be uh, more inventory coming on the market. So I don't think there's going to be a, a crisis or a crash anytime soon, um, but we have a whole year to really see how the foreclosure process is going to work out for many. If you have any questions about real estate or um, you have any comments, please put them in the comments below. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you can be notified of the next video. And until then, it's been a pleasure. I'll talk to you soon. I'm Diana Hodgson from Keller Williams Real Estate, leader of the Redhead Agent team. You can all reach me um, by calling 610 417 1174 or send me an email. All of my contact information is below. Take good care. I'll talk to you soon.